everybody with a week to go to J advance. I hope everybody is geared up to give the exam. So first of all, I would like to congratulate all the students who have uh, cleared J mains. So here with a week left, uh, what would be your strategy to prepare for uh, J advance? So the first thing is that invest all of your time uh, to practice, but in the practice you have to mainly focus on certain topics to have an edge in J advance. So the first set of chapters you have to mainly focus on are uh, complex numbers, quadratic equations, vectors in 3D and matrix and determinants. So if you look into these chapters, uh, they have a very limited concepts and the variety of questions are asked also limited. So the first chapter complex numbers, you should really practice questions on modulus of the complex number involving argument and uh, how to represent a line in argon plane. So how uh, will the angle be between uh, the two lines in the argon plane. And coming to the next chapter that is quadratic equations, you should know how the roots, the position of roots affect the quadratic equation and how to find them. Now coming to vectors in 3D, in this you have to have an idea about a dot product of two vectors, vector product of two vectors and also when three vectors are involved, if they are coplanar or not, how to decide that and also the vector triple product of three vectors. And in 3D, in the case of 3D, you have to know the equations of line in every form, Cartesian form and a vector form and equation of planes and uh, what will the distance between the planes, position of a point with respect to a plane. So these are the things you need to mainly focus on in this chapter. Then coming to matrices and determinants, now you sure uh, know that this is a very easy chapter but you really should know uh, the types of matrices mainly skew symmetric and symmetric matrices, how to find out an inverse of a matrix, determinant of a matrix and uh, adjoint. Now don't forget about uh, the properties of the determinants. Uh, the properties of adjoint of uh, the matrix when determinant is also involved. Now coming to the next set of chapters which weigh more in J advance and uh, very important in terms of weightage. So that are coordinate geometry, calculus and probability. Now you know these are very vast topics. In coordinate geometry you have to mainly focus on conic sections, all the equations, all the general equations of conic sections, the equations of tangents, normals, these uh, you need to really focus on and coming to calculus, now it has got two branches that is differential calculus and uh, integral calculus. In differential calculus, you have to mainly concentrate on application of derivatives in that you should know about uh, calculating maxima and minima that is by first derivative test and the second derivative test. So after that you have to uh, know about uh, differential equations, how to solve the differential equations of uh, types you have got various types like homogeneous equations etc. So coming to the next branch that is integral calculus. In integral calculus you have to mainly focus on definite integrals and area under the curves. So the coming to the next one uh, probability. Now without pro permutations and combinations probability is incomplete. So PNC and probability come together and in this you have to really focus on conditional probability and total probability. So in, in probability mainly I would like to say that practice as many as different questions, different variety of questions as possible and go through all the variety of questions before going to the exam. So these are some uh, chapters you really uh, need to focus on and if you are thorough with these you would definitely score uh, well in mathematics sections of uh, advance. And uh, finally make notes of all the formula you have uh, learned from these chapters that will really help you and revise them regularly and attempt minimum of two mock tests before going to J advance because that would make you familiar with the pattern of J advance of six hours of exam a day. So don't panic if you don't get a question in an examination. So that would only hinder your further performance in the question paper. So be calm and cool and uh, give your best in the examination and I hope this video helps you. Thank you.